So, have you ever wondered how not to shoot saline all over the freaking ceiling when you're going to prep? This might seem stupid, but you would be surprised how long it took before somebody told me how not to do that. And it's frustrating because nurses would see me do it and they wouldn't tell me how to fix it. So I figured I would just put it out there so everybody can know how to not shoot saline on the freaking ceiling. So what you do is you got your saline, and don't think I'm just wasting saline, by the way, we are off IVs now, so we don't use these five um, CC salines. They become our water guns and stuff after we access his port because he likes to dress up as a doctor and play water guns with his dad after he gets access. So, but, um, so I'm not just like wasting saline that we would use. They're just sitting around. But anyways, what you do is you take the saline and before you push up to get the air out, because our goal is, you know, to get the air out, you're going to pull down on the plunger with the 5 cc's is actually really easy to do, but with the 10 cc's they're a little bit harder. You might have to like twist and pull. And then you push up and you can push up slowly. And then there's no saline all over. So once more I'll show you guys. And you'll feel a little bit of resistance and that's fine. You're not going to break the plunger. So, but anyways, you're going to pull, if it's a bigger CC syringe, then you're going to twist and pull sometimes, and then, all nice, and then if you've got five CCs that you don't use anymore, they become water guns, and you can shoot the dog, or your kid, or each other, um, and then we reuse them as water guns too, it's become their thing now, um, but anyways, so yeah, that's how you don't shoot saline all over the freaking ceiling. This is one of those little fun tips and trick videos that I talked about that I would do and then I'll have some more serious ones and any type of helpful information I find that it took forever for somebody else to tell me, I'm going to put out there for you guys. So, I mean, there's going to be port videos, accessing port videos, there's going to be little tips and tricks like this, there's going to be like fun videos, um, I'm thinking my next one since it's going to be easy to make and we're moving tomorrow, um, is going to be other uses for syringes, so if you have ideas, message me on Facebook, our Facebook group link is up on the top, and make sure to subscribe to our page.